So the sanctity, the holiness of relationships in a broad sense is indeed a first and basic element to conceive of a spirituality in which the family appears as a grammar of God's love and faithfulness. Is it the Christ-Church relationship that is supposed to be mirrored in the conjugal union? The models for family life are often taken from theological concepts which approach the mystery of God's inner life. Just as the divine persons in the Trinitarian life are united in a communion of love and intimacy, while at the same time reaching out toward creation, family members embrace each, each other with flexible bonds, which allow equally for both an intimately related community and an outward orientation. The infinite relational life of the triune God can be regarded as the paradigm for humans to respond to their calling and dignity as persons in the divine image and likeness. As one author has noted, a spirituality of the family examines the wonderful way in which small communities united in body and spirit are the locus of transcendence and the special place where God makes present his inner nature, which is love. As is obvious, the comparison, the analogy, works in both directions. Not only does the Trinity serve as a model for family life, conversely, familial relations also reveal something of the very being of God's inner life. 